Taurus. This is going to be an X spread, okay, to see if they're coming back. So we're going to see if your X is coming back, okay? This is going to be for November 13th through the 20th. And let's see what's going on with the situation between you and your ex. Let's see. Please show me if Taurus's ex is coming back. Please show me. Please show me. Taurus and your ex. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Taurus is ex. Are they coming back? All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Taurus is ex. Are they coming back? This is you right now. This is them. Right off the top. Right now. You are very, very um, secure and very grounded, very stable. And I see you looking in their direction, but you're not moving in their direction. So I feel like you are welcoming the energy from the other person. And they, it looks like you guys, of course, have ended a karmic cycle. But it also feels like they are ending a karmic cycle as well, like outside of you. Maybe they were involved with somebody else. Um, and it doesn't have to be. But something, something has ended karmically in their life and um you know it's is coming back around so but they are facing towards you so that is a good sign right there guys that's a good sign right there let's see let's see what it is that you want and they want what you want is to be secure and happy and outgoing, you know, being involved with other people. You don't really like to sit still. You don't like boredom. You know, you want to have a good time. You want to be around other people that have a good time. And um, that's what you want right now. I don't see you... Um, trying to make any advances like I said before towards this person um, I just see you looking in that direction but I don't feel like you're going to be the one to make a move for sure um, I don't see that happening this person whoever this is, is is going to have to come towards you I feel that okay now the issue is that this other person is um, very abundant within themselves and they are very they're wanting to basically not need anyone else i don't see them not wanting anyone else but they want to be in a position to where you know they're good by themselves um starting new things starting businesses um you know just going on new ventures being very creative very intuitive and knowledgeable you guys are a good pair as well a lot of fire energy aries um could possibly possibly be leo in your chart sagittarius even um yeah Let's see what you guys actually need. Under the bottom of the deck, before I started shuffling again, um, we have the Nine of Pentacles there, which is, um, you know, basically being secure in yourself, which is what this other person is looking for. Just now I had the Four of Cups to flip out. So what do you need? This is card of Cancer, Moon and Cancer. Um, but it could be Moon and Scorpio or you know, moon and Pisces, but this card is representative of the moon and cancer. But um, 
this is needing to acknowledge the things that you actually do have in your life to see what's being offered to you to see what you actually have around you being grateful for the things that you have um, and that's what that's what you need let's see what the other person needs I feel like the other person is really um, thinking about the past, thinking about past uh, issues. But I also feel like when this person thinks about the past, they think of the good things. They think of the good things with you. Um, but I also feel like they need to leave um, the past in the past is what I'm getting here. Like, don't dredge up uh, past issues. They need balance. Six of Cups, balance, you know, in their emotions. Um, here. Let's see. Let's see if Union is likely. This is going to be our last card, guys. Is Union likely here? I feel like it is. I do see union here. I do. Eight of Pentacles is building together. Building together, guys. So union is definitely likely here, okay? Definitely in the cards for you. I also see you working um, very hard. Very hard. Let's see. We're going to pull a Divine Feminine card here. We have... Uh, Freya, and I pulled this card just now for Aries as well. It's the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes, okay? So don't do anything that you don't want to do. Use your good judgment. Use your intuition. And you will instinctively know, you know, how to proceed when this person comes towards you or you towards them, okay? So we're going to pull... An angel prayers card to close out the reading. This one wanted to come out, so I'm going to pull it out. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. That is a must. That is a must. You have to be good within yourself. You have to love yourself, you know, in order for you to be able to share your love with somebody else. Love yourself first and foremost, guys, okay? So I definitely see union here, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.